Hey HCG family, this is Mimi's HCG. I am just checking in to let you know about my results when I got up this morning. Uh, this morning I had released 0.8 and so that's a pretty good loss. My body is just moving right along so far and for that I am grateful. Um, I am still using the uh, coconut oil only to cook with. Uh, just for my chicken and a little bit of uh, the vegetables that I used. I have yesterday I, I ate I think the same thing except I had my second piece of chicken I didn't have a whole lot of greens left so I mean I just had just a little bit and I ate that and I guess it was around a nine o'clock or a little bit after that I had the um, uh, strawberry uh, sorbet and uh, and that's it and just my water and tea and I just wanted to say that I am so glad and so thrilled to see Heavy Dobby back and um, and I'm I totally respect where she's at uh, mentally uh, because as I am learning and just the research that I've been doing uh, with that um, book that's out, which I tried to get today, and it's in the bookstores in my area, they didn't have it, so I'm going to have to order it on Amazon. So, But um, the weight loss apocalypse, and, um, and also in their uh, Mind Body, I think it is on Facebook, uh, too, I've been reading um, all the comments and uh, from that, so you know, I I am the same way. I am I'm like heavy dobby. I am using the coconut oil. I did ask um, the lady that wrote that book. Uh, I did ask her on Facebook about coconut oil uh, on the protocol because there again, I don't want to screw up anything in my body and. Um, you know, I used coconut oil in my coffee uh, pretty much, you know, maybe like every other day or sometimes I would use it every day because it also helped with other areas in my body, but it gave me that energy and gave me that fullness. So um, I, uh, my system was already used to coconut oil and uh, so anyway, I had told her about it and said this is what I was using. I was not using it because I was hungry. I was not using it because I needed energy. I was using it just to uh, cook my meats in. And uh, I actually just a tiny bit to brown my meat and whatever vegetables in that. When I take my meat out, my vegetables, I just throw in the uh, pan and uh, kind of deglaze it that way with the vegetables and um, so, um, it, it's working. I, I don't have any hunger on the HCG. I have, it's, it's 437 here. I have not had anything to eat. I have had some water and, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm just now, you know, feeling the hunger pains and my husband and I just got back from the grocery store because I wanted to get some radishes. I haven't had those this time, which... I ate all the time the other time I was on the protocol and uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I, I, I wanted to get me some more cottage cheese um, no fat cottage cheese um, so anyway it is you know just the information that this girl has put out is so interesting and so I can relate to, I mean, my husband and I have had long talks over the years about uh, food and hunger and things like that. And we're not scientists, we're not biologists, uh, we don't know, but, you know, I would struggle with this and I would think something is wrong. And uh, I certainly didn't want to uh, yield to gluttony just to eat, to eat, and also to dealing, I didn't think that I was an emotional eater to where I felt like I had to snack. I could even cook without very seldom ever tasting anything. I'm not like a eat picker. Um, uh, I mean, usually I'm, when I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat. I want to sit down and I want to eat my meal. 
Uh, but uh, so I totally understand the fact of what happens in our old habits and our old way of eating things. Um, when you go on this protocol, it's an opportunity to uh, not look for a way to uh, be able to manipulate um, the food that you eat. So it's like you're you're on this protocol, but you're still trying to do the same thing that you uh, did before you went on the protocol. And I think that's what makes it so hard for some of us if these bad habits that we had before the protocol, that's kind of why we're back on the protocol. So, you know, it's learning how to um, to fill that void with something else instead of food, uh, to fill that emotional void with something else other than food. So, you know, so that's what I want to do. I want to be, you know, it's just like today going out and saying, you know, we came home, we went to the grocery store, we, you know, we went to Home Depot, I uh, went to the pet store, and it's like how much time that you have left over because you're not stopping and going into a restaurant and eating so much food that's bad for you because of the portions. And that's another thing my husband always talks about is, you know, when we go out to eat the portions, and he's like, let's just split the portion. And, uh, you know, it's just too much food. Let's just split it up. So, you know, and I'm like, well, no, because what's ever left over, but I usually would get, you know, a salad and a, a grilled chicken salad and, uh, and that, but I was getting to where I couldn't even eat all the grilled chicken salad. So something was working in my body, but a lot of times I pushed through that and went ahead and ate even when I was full. And that's a terrible feeling. I am sleeping so much better at night. It's like I feel like I can breathe. I didn't even want to go out and get in the car because of putting a seatbelt on. was just, you know, I was claustrophobic. So I don't want to do, I don't want to do this protocol and do all this hard work. And, and it's not hard work, just losing the weight. That's just, that's a perk that comes with HCG is, is the weight loss. It's how, where am I mentally? Where am I in my head? Because I don't want to have to come back here again. So, you know, that's, that's where I am. And I totally understand um, the path that Hubby Dobby is, is going down. And I know there's others that are out there to, to really take a look at where we're at uh, mentally and why we went on HCG in the first place. If it's just so we can just lose that weight, and it's like, you know, I don't want to look like I was 17 again. I don't want to look like I was 30 again. Matter of fact, I think I was overweight when I was 30. Um, but I just want to be able to move and not be suffocated. I mean, I'm not, I'm already old enough now to wear, if I put on a pair of jeans and I've got a muffin top, you know, I'm just, grateful that I don't have, you know, two big loaves of bread hanging over my jeans. But a muffin top is, I take a muffin top. But that's me. I just want my body to be where it's supposed to be. So anyway, there again, I can't, I can't say enough about uh, just the information that I have read that, you know, this young lady has come up with about leptin, uh, L-E-P-T-I-N, not Lipton, like the tea you drink, uh, dorky dork, um, but, uh, you know, just for everybody, just to make sure that you are reevaluating where you are mentally and why we're reaching for so many things to appease our taste buds, and what we're trying to do is manipulate the food that's on the protocol to make it taste like the foods that we're used to eating that got us in this place in the beginning. So, but that's that's me and everybody has got their journey that they have to go down. And, um, but that is, you know, that's how I feel. I have uh, next week, I have my daughter's uh, 30th birthday is coming up and 
I am uh, taking her sister and her out to get a pedicure. I'm not getting a pedicure. And they're going to want to do lunch. So I have to mentally be prepared for that to, if it's to sit and eat a bowl of lettuce with some vinegar on it, then that's what I have to do. But not just that, but to listen to my body. Am I hungry? You know, and then when I'm full, it's just like last night, I made that uh, strawberry sorbet. I ate what I wanted, and that was it. And I literally poured the rest of it down the sink because I just didn't, I didn't want it. I'm full, and I'm wanting my brain to recognize the fact, hey, you're full. So, anyway, um, that's it, and... I hope everybody does well, and I hope everyone has releases. I hope everybody is mentally prepared to change their life and to take every advantage um, that HCG is providing for us. And I want you all to have a good night, a good weekend, and safe weekend, and big hug to my HCG family. Bye.